Hi, in this video, we'll see how to create a new appointment into your calendar itself. Let us see that. Now, what I can do is there are various methods to create an appointment. So I'll first go to this calendar part. I'll just go to the calendar. This is December 2016. That's a calendar part here. Now, if you want to create an appointment, there are various methods. As I said, the first method is you have to go to the home tab, click on this new appointment or second method is you select the particular date. So I'll just scroll down. Today is 27th. So I'll create an appointment for tomorrow. Okay. If you want to create an appointment, you just start typing there. Let's say as meeting with sales rep and press enter. So keep on typing and press enter. That's an appointment which is created here. No, that is one more method. Now, so simple and easy select the cell and keep on typing there. That's one method. Second method is what you can do is you can just select it. Okay, select the particular date and then you can just click on this new appointment. Okay, if you see the date is selected here, Tuesday 1-3-2017, 20, uh, that is the 1st of 3rd of Jan 2017, 1 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. which they have selected here. So what I can do is I can just show you the three things here. This uh, window can be used for three purposes. One is for the meetings, second is for appointments and events. Right now, if you see, this is nothing but an appointment. Okay, appointment is nothing but it is only your which are tagged. You are busy with that particular thing itself. So if you see right now, the status shows as busy from this time to this time. So I'll just change the time. I'll change it to, let's say, yeah, 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. By, by, by default, it take has taken as half an hour. So 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m., which is taken as, it will show as busy. Now, there is one. If you see there's a small checkbox here that says as all day event. Now all day event, if you see events can be your birthdays, your celebrations, your new years. So if I select this option, see the window name will change instead of appointment. Here it is appointment. If I click on this place, it says all day event. Now it has become as event. This also has become as event. So for particular event, you see the status, it shows as free. So the birthday celebration will keep on going entire day, the new year celebration or the Christmas celebration. So you cannot keep a specific time as busy. You can just say as I'm free and you can keep on doing the celebration part. So that is one more option here. That is all day event. So if you uncheck it, it will become as appointment. Now, if you are doing this task with multiple people, that becomes a meeting again. Okay. So if you see right now, it's appointment only for one person. If you ask for, that means you will be the person who will be doing a, an appointment. An event will be the same person who is doing an uh, event. It goes for, for the entire day, 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., which is given here. But now, if you see, if you want to include many people, that becomes a meeting again. So if I, if I remove this first, and if you see, see there is an option given as invite attendees. So if I click on invite attendees, if you see right now it is subject and location. So I'll type some subject as uh, subject as meeting, meeting with manager and the location I can give as conference room and you can give any location, third floor, A building. Okay, so this is how a meeting will uh, appointment will go. If I click on this invite attendees, so what will happen is the, the tab has changed to meeting. The window name has changed to meeting. The tab name has also changed to meeting. Why it has changed? Because now this is not only you, but the other person also will be involved here. So if you see, there's a two box. That means you're sending a meeting invitation to different people here. You can keep, just keep on typing the name itself. So if you have the email IDs, you can type. Otherwise, you can click on this two option and you can search the email IDs from your contact list. So I'll just click on cancel. Now, right now, I do not want the meeting part. I'll just click on cancel. I'm looking for a, you know, appointment part, which is given here. So 1.30 to 2 p.m., which is given. And I can just type here. Let's say it is meeting with manager. I can write down the points. Discuss about project plan. Discuss about the test plan and so on. You can keep on typing and finally when it is done, you can just click on this save and close. Remember th the time 1.30 to 2 p.m. Click on save and close. So if you see meeting with the manager, conference room, third floor, A building. Now, if you see as a month wise calendar, it is very difficult to find out that what is the time you're doing a meeting here. So what you can do is you can bring as a day wise calendar. Day wise calendar can be brought by just clicking on this day option. And if you see that's a January 3, 20. 17 if i scroll down exactly at 1 30 to 2 pm i'll get this as option as meeting with manager conference room okay so that's the second method which you can see 
So I'll just go back. If you want to go back, you just click on this month view option. Okay. So the first method was you just select the date and you can keep on typing. That is the first method. Second method is you select the date and double click and the window will open. So you can just schedule a meeting. Right now it is an event. Remove the event and it becomes an appointment. So I'll just click on this close part and click on this no. Third method is if you want to create an appointment, you just click on this new appointment and the same window opens and you can keep on doing the same task. With this appointment, you can do multiple tasks like you can do a scheduling assistant, save and close, delete and so many options are there. We'll see those one by one. Right now, I'll just click on this close button and that's it. Right. So I hope you're able to understand how to schedule an appointment, how to create an appointment by different methods. That's all for this video.